reason to be blessed. God made you a promise and you stood the test. He's gonna open the windows, pour you out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. Everybody say, it's your season. To be blessed, to be blessed. God made you a promise, made you a promise, and you stood the test. Windows of heaven, pour you out, pour you out a blessing. Is your season? It's your season. Is your season to be blessed? I've been through the fire. I've been through the flood. But I'm standing here because of his love. He's going to open the windows and pour you out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. Come on. It's your season to be blessed. God made us a promise and we still could test. Windows of heaven and pour us out. For you out a blessing. Is your season? It's your season. Is your season? To be blessed. I've been through the fire. I've been through the flood. But I'm standing here because of his love. He's going to open the windows. And pour us out a blessing. It's your season to be blessed. It's your season. It's your season to be blessed. To be blessed. God made you a promise. God made you a promise. And we stood the test. The wind is in heaven. Pour us out a blessing. It's your season. 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 To be blessed. It's your season. To be happy. It's your season. To be whole. It's your season. To be healed. It's your season. It's your season. It's your season. It's your season. Whatever you want. It's your season. Whatever you need. It's your season. 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 To be blessed. Come on, clap your hands up in here. It's your season. 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 To be blessed. It's your season. To be healed. It's your season. Whatever you want. It's your season. Whatever you need. It's your season. 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 To be blessed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for each and every one of you in your prospective place. It is your season. To be blessed. Whatever you need from God, God's got it. Amen. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. I've never seen a body that God couldn't heal. 
I can't, and I've never seen a soul that God couldn't save. I've never seen a bill that God couldn't pay. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think. All we have to do is praise him. All we have to do is thank him. All we have to do is trust him. All we have to do is believe in him. Cast your cares upon him because he cares just for you. Amen. I'm on the scripture. It's John 3 and 16. It says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I'm so glad that all I have to do is believe. Amen. Amen. All you have to do is believe. God gave his son. We didn't have to buy it. Come on, somebody. We don't have to pay for it. All we have to do is believe. Amen. They used to sing a song that all things are possible if you only believe. Amen. How many come and give thanks unto the Lord on this morning? Amen. Song. It says to give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Amen. Has it been good to anybody? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he, he is good. Is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is. For he is good. Yes, he is. For he is good. For he is worthy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Come on. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For he is worthy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. For he is worthy. Yes, he is. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Come on, let's have it. For he is great. Until the Lord. For he is good.
is a good God. Yes, he is. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm just totally excited on today. I want to officially welcome you to our 2017 Family and Friends Day. Amen. I thank each and every one of you for coming out on this morning. Amen. Certainly God is good. Amen. I just thank God for keeping us all with long. I thank God that he kept the robbers away. I thank God that he let us be in our right mind. I thank God that he, that he just blessed us to see one more day because somebody didn't make it. And we shouldn't take it lightly that God blessed us. He gave us two miracles on, his, on today, grace and mercy. Amen. Once we open up our eyes, grace and mercy. Amen. I thank God for the small things in life. I thank God for my health and my strength. I thank God for being in my right mind on this morning. So many people are lost and so many people are blind. But I thank God that I can see. I thank God that I'm not lost. I once was lost, but now I'm found. And I just thank God on this morning just for blessing me. Hallelujah. Even the ones that are watching the internet, I want you to know that you're in the right place at the right time for your Sunday morning miracle service. Amen. It don't take God long to do what he wants to do. Amen. God is God all by himself and he don't need our help. Amen. Sometimes we can get in the way, but God is God all by himself. Amen. And now at this time, I want you to open up your ears, open up your hearts, open up your minds to receive our pastor on this morning, the best pastor on this side of heaven, amen, I introduce to some and present to others our pastor, Fred, Pastor Frederick Pride, amen. amen. Thank you for the warm introduction, amen. Amen, we'd like to invite you to come worship with us every Sunday morning. At 10 a.m. we have Sunday morning miracle service, amen. amen. If you need a word from the Lord, you can watch uh, Pastor Pride and First Lady Pride and the ministerial staff preach a living word to a dying world, 366 365 days this year. Amen. Amen. Last year was leap year. Amen. amen uh, at W-A-I-N dot TV. Amen. amen. Amen and amen. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Amen. We thank God that the hand of the enemy was stayed and he gave you one more opportunity to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. amen. They say, I was glad when they said unto me. Amen. amen. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. I don't plan on being before you very long this morning. There's a very familiar passage of scripture where Jesus makes an appearance by the sea. Amen. In John, the 21st chapter. And I'll read the 26th verse. John, the 21st chapter. And I'll read the 6th verse. Amen. 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 Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. Now, God, I ask you to look on this congregation of believers, those who are here, those who are on their way, and those who are watching via internet, causing to know that you're the God of all gods. You're the almighty, the all-knowing, and the all-powerful. Satan, we serve you and notice that your plans are canceled. And you are defeated and Christ is exalted. It says in the matchless and powerful name of Jesus, we pray, amen and amen. John, the 21st chapter in the 6th verse, it says, And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, mm -hmm. and ye shall find. They cast therefore, now they were not able to draw for it, for the multitude mm -hmm. of fishes. That the, therefore, that disciples whom Jesus loved said, Peter, it is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard it was the Lord, he gifted his fisher's coat unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. I want to read again, verse 6, it says, And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. And they cast their four, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fish. Amen. 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 We thank God for the reading of his word. And I want to talk to you this morning from the subject, do it again. Amen. Amen. If we be honest with ourselves, we've all had a plan or we understand that God has a purpose for our lives. Amen. Amen. 
I don't care who you are, if you're called to the pulpit or you're called to the pew, that does not mean God does not have a plan or purpose for your life. Amen. You may not be called to preach, but you may be called to pray. You may not be called to pray. You may be called to sing. Come on, somebody. You may be called to encourage. You may be called to help. You may be called to a business. Come on, somebody. An organization, a job, an opportunity. Whatever your call is, sometimes life will make you seem like you will not be successful. I want to serve you notice that the very attack of the enemy is an indicator that you are on the right path. When you're doing wrong, nothing seems to bother you. Nothing seems to aggravate you. No, nothing seems to get on your nerves. But when you make an effort to do something right, that's when all things go wrong. Come on, somebody here. When you try to pay all your bills off, that's when you find yourself more in bed. Come on. When you try to lose a few pounds, that's when you gain a few. Come on, somebody here. When you try to find a job, come on, somebody. When you're on a job for years and years and you try to find another job, that's when the enemy tells you you're be here forever. Uh -huh. There is only one attack of the enemy and that is that to cause to be as believers to become discouraged with our purpose. We, the enemy wants us to be discouraged with our plans, our purpose, our goal, our call, and our anointing for what God has called us to do. Uh, but the scripture tells us to be not really in well doing before we shall reap a harvest of blessings if we faint not. Hold on my brother and hold on my sister. Don't faint just yet. Your harvest is on the way. Huh? Don't quit just yet. Your miracle is on the way. Huh? Don't throw in the towel. Your healing is on the way. Don't give up just yet. Your deliverance is on the way. Huh? They sing the song that says hold on. Help is on the way. Somebody talk to me this morning. Come on somebody talk to me this morning. I want to encourage you to cast your net again. Huh? I know it didn't work in 15. I know it didn't work in 14. I didn't know it didn't work in 13. Huh? But cast your net again. Huh? What I found out is sometimes we're doing the right things the wrong way. Huh? The disciples were on the, the sea and there was nothing wrong with fishing. Come on somebody here. There was nothing wrong with trying to feed your family. God. But sometimes we go about things the wrong way. Come on somebody. Sometimes we approach things with the wrong attitude. Uh, how many times you say, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Uh, it ain't going to work any. Come on somebody here. Do it again, but do it the right way. Uh, I don't even know why I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm too tired. and I've been working at it all this time and it, it hasn't worked. Come on somebody here. But you approach things positively. You will receive positive results. Uh, brother and sister, you must learn and know and understand that you will get exactly what you think you deserve. Uh, if you deserve the best, you'll get the best. Uh, if you feel like you are the best, you'll be the best. Uh, come on somebody, but as long as you think we as believers in this year, we can be so pitiful and so poor mouth that we go around saying, anyway you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Uh, in this hour, we have to pray with purpose. Uh, we have to pray. Come on somebody, when God pray, ask, ask and you shall receive. Come on somebody here. Don't give God your plan uh, and give God your purpose uh, because the steps of a good man, Psalms 1 says they are ordered by the Lord uh, who's ordering your steps on this morning. Uh, the Bible lets us know that Jesus makes an appearance on the sea. Come on somebody here. First of all if you know anything about Jesus, Jesus was not a fisherman but he was in fact a carpenter. Uh, but here he is on the sea and they tell, they find they had been fishing all night long without any success. Uh, can I speak to some people that have been doing things for years and years and years and you still have not achieved your greatest success? Uh, I want to serve you and notice that your best days are not behind you or, but are in front of you. The scripture tells us, forgetting those things which are behind, I will press forward 
blood to the mark of the prize of the high calling which is in Jesus Christ. Uh, sometimes we as believers must develop spiritual amnesia where we forget what happened on last year. Uh, last year don't even matter no more. Uh, the songwriter said yesterday is gone and tomorrow may never be mine. Uh, but Lord for my sake help me to take one day at a time. Uh, Jesus also instructs us to take no thought in what we're going to eat or what we're going to drink. Uh, he also tells us to seek ye what? First the kingdom of God uh, and all the things shall be added unto you. Uh, if you need some things start seeking God. Uh, if you need a miracle start seeking God. Uh, if you need a blessing start seeking God. Uh, if you need your bills paid uh, start seeking God. Huh? If you need a way out of no way, start seeking God. Huh? If you need your soul saved, uh, just start seeking God. Huh? The scripture lets us know that Jesus shows up on the sea and they had been fishing all night long. Huh? Now imagine this, receiving instructions from someone who is not an expert. Huh? Come on somebody here. We run to the doctor and we run to the lawyer. Huh? You know mama got those remedies. Huh? All, all you need is a spoonful of castor. Come on somebody out here. And she'll save you thousands of dollars. Y'all not going to hear me here. you got to get to a place in your life that you've got to be ready to receive instructions from whoever it comes from. Huh? As long as it's wisdom. Huh? As long as it's, come on somebody, it makes good sense. Come on somebody here. As long as you're operating in God, the Bible lets us know that Jesus tells his disciples to cast the net on the right side. Huh? Essentially they were doing it the wrong way. Huh? See, you've got to get to a place in your life where you're not walking in an attitude. Because huh? God don't use you. He can't use you when you think you all that. Huh? God don't open doors for you when you think you all made it and you all know it. Huh? I know and I understand that when God knows huh, that he is the center of the epicenter of your life. Huh? You've got to be like the songwriter. He says, and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. Huh? When was the last time you had a real conversation with God? Huh? Not a begging party. Huh? Not a pleading party. Huh? Not a pity party. Huh? Because sometimes we get down on our knees and we'll cry to God. Huh? And we'll complain to God. Huh? And we, well, come on somebody. Mother used to say like this. She said, I had a little talk with Jesus and I told him all about my troubles. Huh? He heard my fainted cry and he answered by and come on somebody I wish I was in the right house huh? when you have a conversation with Jesus I, I don't serve a deaf God huh? I don't serve a blind God huh? I don't serve a crippled God huh? I don't serve a lazy God huh? I serve the God of all gods huh? he said I am the first and the last huh? I'm the beginning and the end huh? I'm the alpha and the omega huh? I told y'all last year and year after year I keep telling y'all God is the only man I know that can show up late and still be on time. Huh? Can I talk to some past due folks? Huh? Can I talk to us? Come on, somebody. I don't even send letters no more. Huh? Can I talk to some people that really know they should have been repossessed by now? Huh? Should have been put out by now. Huh? Should have been dead by now. Come on, somebody. Should have been crazy a long time ago. Huh? If you've been through what I've been through, you've been crazy by now. Huh? But the grace of God huh? and the mercy of God huh? and the love of God huh? and the power of God. Huh? It keeps on holding me up. Huh? The Bible lets us know that the disciples are, uh, even though they were frustrated, huh? they probably were angry. Huh? Somebody on the group probably didn't want to listen to them. Huh? What this man talking about? Huh? Cast it on the right side. Huh? We've been here all night. Huh? But the text says, he said, nevertheless at thy word. Huh? And we as believers in 2017 must learn how to to hold on to every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Huh? If God said it, huh, he's going to do it. Huh? One thing I've learned about God, just because he said he's going to do it, he sometimes he's not explicit in the details. Huh? He may say he's going to heal you, huh? but he may not tell you how. Huh? He may not tell you when. Huh? But all you got to do is hold on to the fact that he will heal you. Huh? He may not tell you what, huh? or he may not tell you where, huh? but hold on to 
his way. Uh, the song said, said, hold to God's unchanging hand. Uh, build your hopes on things uh, eternal uh, and hold to God's uh, unchanging hand. Uh, so the Bible says uh, that at daybreak, come on somebody here, uh, some scripture says it like this, uh, weeping may endure for a need, uh, but joy comes in the morning. Uh, at daybreak they cast their nets on the right side of the ship uh, and they had more than a meal. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has been here this year, uh, but if I want to decree and declare prophetically this year when you do it the right way, look and expect more than a man. Uh, Huh. I want not to talk to the right people. Huh? When you do it the right way, look and expect more than enough. Huh? More than enough happiness. Huh? More than enough joy. Huh? More than enough peace. Huh? More than enough love. Huh? More than enough success. Come on. Huh? I wish I had a more than enough church. Huh? More than enough opportunities. Huh? More than enough health. Huh? More than enough food. Huh? More than enough money. Huh? When you do it the right way. Huh? expect more than enough huh? I came to tell you this morning huh? I promised I wouldn't be here long huh? you need to learn how to cash your nets huh? on the right side huh? when you cash your nets huh? on the right side huh? you'll be more than enough huh? and the text lets us know huh? that they had to give to the other fishermen huh? what kind of business first of all it's not a business practice huh? to give your come on somebody your product huh? to another business. Huh? It's not business practice huh? for you to give some of your clothes huh? to the other clothing store. Huh? But they had so much huh? that they knew that they couldn't sell it all. Huh? They had so much huh? that they knew they couldn't eat it all. Huh? They had so... Y'all not going to help me here. Huh? I'm believing God this year huh? that I'm going to have so much huh? that I can't eat it all. Huh? I'm going to have so much huh? that I can't spend it all. Y'all not going to help me here. Huh? I'm going to have so much, uh, I can't drive them all. Uh, I ain't have so much, uh, I can't live in them all. Y'all not gonna hear me. Uh, God will set those of us who believe God uh, and cast our net on the right side. Uh, he will set us up because they were disciples. Uh, a disciple is a follower of God. Uh, and if you're gonna follow the things of God, uh, disciples, they follow the principles of God. Uh, and they know and understand that there's more in blessing and to give it uh, than to receive it. Huh? It's more blessing to give it huh, than it is to take it. Y'all not going to get me here. So they knew and understand if they gave it away, huh, God will give them more. Huh? God will open up a window in heaven. Huh? Malachi 3 and 8, he said, I'll open up a window in heaven huh, and pour you out such a blessing huh, that you won't have room enough to receive. Huh? You don't have room to receive it. Your closet ain't big enough. Your garage ain't big enough. Your house ain't big enough. We as Fargo ain't got enough safes to hold all of it. Y'all not. Thank you, Lord. 2017, do it the right way. Apologize when wrong. Come on. Say thank you when someone do something for you. Forgive quickly. Because sometimes unforgiveness will prevent us from allowing God to use us. Unforgiveness will cause us to come on where God won't be able to bless us. How can you not speak to your brother whom you see daily and you can speak to a guy you have never seen? I can walk right past you and not speak. And you never seen God but you speak to him every day. We got to do it the right way. We got to preach the right way. We got to sing the right way. We got to live the right way. We got to give the right way. Come on. You like that dress she got on? You know she wouldn't look that cute today if I didn't die for her. That's not right. God can't bless you that way. We got to do things the right way. And the righteous one will bless us. The holy one will bless us. What we do in secret, the Lord will reward openly. 
But will you give yourself the credit? Will you give yourself the glory? Will you give yourself the honor? God can't use you. God can't bless you. Do it the right way this year. Love the right way. Love without expecting nothing. Come on, somebody. Give without expecting nothing. You know, I gave you them beans last year. You should have at least bought me a can of corn or something. You know. We got to do things the right way. And the righteous one. The holy one. The God of all gods. The one that says that he has a cattle on a thousand hill. So I know there's a stake in there somewhere for me. Come on. A leather sofa, a so- come on, somebody. Yes. A cattle on a thousand hills belong to him. So you don't have to long or worry. I've never seen the right. I once was young. That's what David said. I once was young, but now I'm old. But there's one thing I've never seen. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. You don't have to beg. You don't have to borrow. You don't have to cry. You don't have to complain. All you got to do is live right. And God will. Come on. He also said right there, he said, when my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord. Sometimes people got to walk out of your life so God can walk in. The writer says, the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Maybe Uzziah was in the way. Come on. Where do you put it in the way of God? Is your car in his way? Is your house in his way? Is your husband, your wife, your job? When Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Think about it. When such and such walked out, I got God. Now I'm not going to hear me. When I asked such and such to leave, because some people ain't going to leave, you got to ask them. Sometimes you gotta cut them. You gotta cut them off. Come on, you know this is gonna be our last lunch. I just want you to know you enjoy yourself, baby. That's right. This is the last one. It was good knowing you. Good knowing you. That's no right. offense. Come on. That's right. But when you dismiss them, God walk right in. God walk right in. That's right. I lean and depend totally and completely on God. There is nothing. Too hard for God. Amen. I will that Minister Terrence Long and I will come and just pray for uh, the people on this morning. Amen. Amen. Let's receive him as he comes. Amen. 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 Good morning. What a strong word this morning. Amen. I always give God praise for everything. Yes. All right, let us pray. Dear Father God, thank you, Lord, on this morning for allowing us to see another day, yes, allowing us to make it in the house once again, to hear your word, yes, not a word from us, but a word from you. Yes, Just want to bless each and every one that was out here this morning yes, and those that are watching live. Yes, Lord, we ask that you continue to strengthen and bless the man of this house. Continue to use him as your vessel. Continue to keep him moving. The way you want him to go. Not his way, but your way. Touch First Lady as well, Father God. Bless this ministry. We just praise you and glorify your name right now. It just not, don't stop here, Lord. Just keep it moving. Just keep it coming. Just keep us in your will. Not our will, but your will. And we just praise you and glorify your name right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. I would that you would just simply recite this prayer after me. Amen. Say, Father, forgive me, for I'm a sinner. Create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. I take off the old and put on the new, which is in you. If you recited that prayer wholeheartedly, I want to welcome you to a winning team and let you know that your best days are in front of you. And not behind you. Amen. Amen. Come worship with us every Sunday morning. At 10 a.m. we have Sunday morning miracle service. You can go to the internet and watch us on WAIEN.TV. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. I just want to encourage you that your best days are in front of you. The mere fact that you're sitting here this morning means that you are a survivor. Amen. You survived something. You survived sleep last night. Come on. Somebody went to bed and did not wake up this morning. You survived. Come on. You live with conditions that other people have died with. The stroke killed somebody, but you're still here. The heart attack killed somebody. you still here. The high blood pressure took somebody out. The sugar diabetes, somebody's leg was cut off. But you still got both yours. Come on. You are a survivor. You are a winner. Nay, in all these things, in everything I go through, come on, every tear I cry, we are more than conquerors. I'm not just a conqueror. I'm more than that. I'm more than that. I'm more than a conqueror. Through Christ Jesus, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. We would like, first of all, I would like to give thanks for everyone coming to our family and friends day. Amen. Amen. Let's give everybody a round of applause. Thank God for Minister Alfreda and First Lady who worked so diligently with us. Amen. To make this day possible. Amen. Amen. Please don't go home. Please fellowship with us following service. Pastor got some good goodies for everybody. Amen. 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 At this time we're going to go, but we never dismiss. We speak healing in you. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, at the end of service, if anybody would like to give, amen, please feel free to do so at the end of service. Amen. We speak healing in your life. We speak deliverance in your life. An undeniable display of the power of God in your life. We won't rest until we see you blessed. We love you. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. You and I, everything, Lord, worship him